How's it going everyone? George here with Vegas Must Drive back at it once again with another video and today we're checking out one of the staples here in Las Vegas. I'm talking about the iconic Pepper Mill. This is one of the OG spots here in Vegas and I want to show you guys. Let's go check it out. thing you'll notice when you walk in is the retro color that they have. Bright pink and purple and then blue. Uh, obviously the booths look a certain way. Everything like the furniture looks like it's back from the 70s and that's because the Peppermint opened back in 1972 and it's been a staple ever since. You know really famous people come here they film TV shows and all that stuff. It's so cool that they kept that essence of like that kind of almost nostalgic essence. The low ceiling you know even some of the uniforms that they uh, that some of the servers are wearing are represent of like a way back when era. This is a place that I honestly come to late at night or early mornings. It's always gonna be busy. Something to know is that when we came in, we actually asked, you know, to put our names on the list and they told us, they told us it was gonna be 45 minutes to wait. Um, after 20 minutes, I came to check up and see, you know, what would go on the list and they told us our table was ready. That's something to keep in mind. I feel like a lot of people come here, put their name on the list and then end up leaving or something like that. So just so you know, if your wait time's gonna be an hour or an hour and a half, it might not be that long because I feel like a lot of people put their name on the list and then you know run away after that all right so we got the two bloody marys mild and hot these are award-winning bloody marys they come with a bunch of uh, garnishes here cucumbers um, celery a little bit of cherry tomatoes and let's give it a try so let's see Ooh. Not as spicy as I thought, but good. It tastes really fresh. Nah, yeah, it definitely came from the bottom. But anyway, this is pretty good. I actually like it. Not as spicy as I wanted it though. They use Tabasco for the spice. I like to use like Tapatio for the spice, but hey, you know, I'm Mexican, so whatever. All right, so there's about three things that they're known for here as far as dishes goes. One of them is the giant pancakes that they're about this big. The other one is the peppermint burger, but it's a little too early for that. And the other choice is the French toast ambrosia, which is what I have right here. Look at this beast. It comes with a bunch of mixed fruits, whipped cream on top. So there's a bunch of fruits here, bananas, strawberries, blueberries, and then cantaloupe and melon. And we also got this uh, a disturbingly huge cup filled with like about five or six ounces of syrup. Let's drop it like it's hot, you know? Oh, oh Lord, this is crazy. Let's give this a quick try, you know? Got, got a blueberry in there. Mm. This is so good. This is a lot of food, holy fire. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about the melons being on my, on my French toast. I feel like it doesn't necessarily go. It's almost like a citrusy food. The actual French toast itself with the syrup and the, ooh, and the whipped cream, check that out. Ah, great combo. But yeah, I'm actually allergic to, to cantaloupe. Not crazy allergic, but when I eat it, the roof of my mouth kind of swells up and gets itchy. And if I keep eating it, I die. All right, and right over here, we have the country ham and eggs. As you can see, this piece of ham is an absolute beast. It's, it literally quite takes the whole like diameter of the plate. So we have we have the ham, sunny side up eggs, and hash browns. We actually get like a steak knife for the for the ham because it's so thick. What would you say that is? Three quarters of an inch. Pretty big monster piece with the bone right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know what we need right here? A little bit of Cholula right here in the corner. Half of this would have been okay. Pepper Mill, like I said, it's known for the big portions and this obviously did not disappoint. Here it is. We got an English muffin and uh, Yuri asked for some butter and they gave her this. This is like for like what, like two sets of pancakes. Everything is large. Yeah, I know, everything is big. Except the drinks, you know, the drinks, they keep it pretty standard. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going with this French toast ambro ambrosia. Mmm. Napkins. Essential. So they open at 7 a.m. and they close at 11, Sunday through Wednesday. And Thursday through Saturday, they open at 7 a.m. and they close at 2 a.m. But keep in mind that apparently they stopped seating about an hour before the closure 
closure of the business. Those are the current hours. They may, they may be subject to change. You know, you never know with these times. But as of uh, the last quarter of 2021, those are the current hours. There should be more bananas. <laughs> with strawberries and blueberries. Oh yeah. Everything is so colorful here that even their sugar has like large crystals of very colorful. It almost looks like a toy. Oh, I thought I was gonna come out a little slower than that. Let's keep going with this Bloody Mary. I'm not a huge fan of celeries, but when it comes to olives, I can actually eat these just as a snack. Not a whole lot of people like them. At least a lot of Mexican candy kind of tastes like this. All right, so Yuri has been going to tan on this for like 10 minutes and look at that. Still not even a dent. That's a lot of food, right? The ham is giant. Under further investigation, I have concluded that the Bloody Mary has to be spicy. And what I mean by that is that mine is okay because it's spicy, but then I tried Yuri's and hers is pretty watery. There's definitely better options when it comes to Bloody Marys here on the Strip. So I don't know who gave them that award. I need to have a chat with them. The boots here are so comfortable that you can actually take a nap after you're done eating. Look at that. Actually, from 3 to 6 p.m. every single day, they have a happy hour on their drinks. The menu here only says special special pricing on well drinks, select beers and, and wines. And they also have some specialty drinks here, like a Moscow Mule and, you know, a whiskey cola, stuff like that. So they're about $6, $6-$5 here uh, for that happy hour. Pretty good, six, a three hour window for you to come and, and check them out. And you, obviously they have more than just breakfast items here. If you get up too late, you can just wait a little bit longer, push it to like, late lunch, dinner time, and then you can have a happy hour waiting for you. <laughs> well, I ended up leaving the uh, cantaloupe behind because if I keep eating it, I might die. And if I die, who's gonna make these videos for you guys? There's a lot of people. All right, my friends, so now it's time to check out this bill. Uh, cool, cool. All right, so as you can see, we are paying tourist prices. Uh, $22 for the French toast and uh, ham and eggs. Pretty big portions, but also, uh, you know, it reflects on the on the bill. Then we got the two Bloody Marys for $12 each. Uh, so the food was $43, beverages were $24. Uh, after taxes is $71. The food was good, good portions, but it wasn't like amazing, you know? Just keep in mind that you are kind of paying for the experience here. It is a pretty cool spot to check out, no lie. Um, you can also go to the fire Fireside Lounge over there and uh, it's a pretty cool environment. All right, my friends, so that is a wrap here for the Pepper Mill, a staple of Las Vegas. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and then comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you're just bored, because it all helps the algorithm. Till next time, guys. Peace out.